Hello literature lovers. Still on the episode, the ideal masterpiece of a popular text. The Art of Defamilization Part 2. If you don't know what defamilization is, can you go through my last episode on The Art of Defamilization Part 1 to have an understanding? Son of Woman uses three techniques of defamilization. Number one, syntactic defamilization of word order. Number two, syntactic defamilization of structural redundancy. Number three, syntactic defamilization of reduction strategies. Syntactic comes from the keyword syntax. What is syntax? It's the arrangement of words to form a sentence. There you have it. Number one, syntactic defamilization of word order. This is where the arrangement of words in a sentence are placed unconventionally by altering the subject and predicate. Please get it right. A sentence is divided into two parts, subject and predicate. Okay. Examples in the text include, son of woman, that is me. A dumb nuisance, men are really. Never had I had a dad in my blinking life. Instead of, son of woman, that is me, should be, I am son of woman. Or, men are really a dumb nuisance. Or, I've never had a dad in my blinking life. Now you get the defamization aspect, right? Number two. Syntactic defamization of structural redundancy. Redundancy refers to information that has been repeated more than once, not useful at times. It takes many forms. In morphology, words, phonemes, sounds, or multiple use of words to express a single idea, which is rhetoric. Examples in the text include me, I don't believe in one woman. My second one, my fingers are frozen, absolutely frozen. I believe as typical Kenyans, we can relate with the first example. Me, I, right? Instead of, I don't believe in one woman. Why the redundancy of me, I? Hmm, Kenyans, I see you. Number three, syntactic deformization of reduction strategies. There are a couple of them. Number one, transposition. This is replacing one word class for another without changing the meaning of the message. For example, I learned to line from the Moganda friend of mine. Do you get it there? Okay. Second one, a title phrase. It's a sentence that repeats an idea in the same words. She slapped him and he slapped her back. Another one, lexical repetition, which is, for example, he is a pain in the ass. He's a pain in the ass, a real pain in the ass. Polycidentum, it entails a series of words that is connected with the repeated use of the same conjunction, mostly, and or its effect is to slow down the readers that they take all the information in with a fairly equal bit. Example, Tonya is laughing and talking and asking a million questions. You'll have to kill him, divorce him or something. We get it. We continue. Invocation, the act of mentioning or referring to someone or something in support of one's idea. This technique is so common in speech as many people use it, making the text popular. For example, God, even as a kid, I had to go through hell. Hyperphora, this is where one asks a question, then proceeds to answer. For example, do I like it? You can bet your ass I don't. Do you get the question tag there? Good. Parenthesis, it's a type of digressive structure to serve as an elaborative function. For example, I skipped lunch. I'm always skipping my lunch. And that's why I am getting fat. Those are the reduction strategies that you'll see in Son of Woman.
In conclusion, some critics have argued that Magwa's use of deformization in his style of writing is a way of him conniving his readers that he's innocent about his frequent portrayal of morality and junk in the text. By the way, there's a lot of junk. Okay. As mentioned earlier, this text, Son of Woman, was a controversial read during the 70s and 80s in Kenya. You wonder why. Now you get it. I bet this has convinced you, my dear literature lovers, to have a read on this ideal masterpiece of a popular text. Such a good read. Go and grab it. That's a wrap on the series and drop a comment below. That's all I have for you today. Kindly subscribe and share this podcast with your family and friends. See you when you see me. Bye.